you are watching me on the business of beauty segment brought to you by argus cmpo hi i'm dr shoma sarkar a practicing dermatologist and cosmetologist in bandra since last 8 to 9 years my clinic the skin in is catering to all kinds of treatments right from clinical to aesthetic we do lot of laser treatments chemical peels anti-aging treatments and all the pathological disorders relating to skin. The common misconception about dermatology with people is the ones you only go to the doctor is if you have a skin disease. People feel that we only treat diseases but it's not about that. It's about a holistic approach towards skin care. So we not only deal with diseases but yes we deal with improvement of your hair, your skin, your nails and a complete holistic approach. The common skincare problem in my clinic I come across is pimples that is acne, pigmentation, hair fall, dandruff, uneven skin tone. These are the commonest one which the patient comes to me for. So when it comes to OTC skincare, the OTC skin cares are something which you dispense over the counter. Now these products are have a very feel good factor, they are very good to look at, uh, the aesthetic sense is very nice but the molecules which are required to treat somebody's skin is not to the optimum. Again when we come to professional skin care, this is something which you can do it at salons, at a lot of parlors but again you have your own limitations. So you cannot go beyond certain uh, period or about certain percentages of the molecule and when it comes to the prescription care we hear when we talk about prescription care is all about writing medicines uh, writing a proper care for you dealing with your skin in-house with the clinics with lot of technology and lot of uh, I would rather say procedures so skin care fall under both the category actually so it depends upon the patient to patient there are some patients who would only require a drug prescription and there are some patients where require drug as well as cosmetic treatments. So probably for example if it's a detanning patient who wants it then what we do is like we prescribe certain drugs like a medicated sunscreen or medicated face wash and then in the clinic we do some cosmetic treatments like chemical peelings or a microderm abrasion or any kind of polishing treatments so this is the major difference between cosmetic and drug under skin care as it it is very important for all the companies irrespective of they being a pharmaceutical or cosmeceutical they have to go through an efficacy clinical testing even if they have done something at their home country because when we come to India or we come to this kind of population we have different type of skin types and the response of the patients are very different so it is very important that we definitely have an efficacy test done here in the country clinical testing I understand that we do not do it on animals anymore but then we have a few clinical trial companies where we conduct our trials and on the patients so yes it requires a lot of permissions and regulations and ethic committee to go through these trials but there is definitely an option for it the ideal sample size for clinical testing is somewhere between 100 to 300 but uh, given at given point of time you can also take 30 patients as a sample size There are many certifications actually but uh, more importantly as a doctor I normally look at the drugs being US FDA approved. Uh, sometimes in India you have uh, certain certifications like FSSAI which is there on your products. So there has to be a certification which is comes from a reliable source which comes with a legitimate uh, certification I think is enough for any drug to be used in the country. The only advice is that yes, we are Asian patients and we have a little bit of different from the Caucasian skins. So if you see the color wise, we are more on the darker scale. Uh, the sensitiveness is less common in Indian patients, but we tan a lot, uh, we get darkened a lot. 
so the products has to be related on those terms and it has to be more sensitized towards different skin types as well so we experience a lot of combination skin oily skin dry skin so one has to thoroughly go through the skin types in india before launching any of their products